A Texas pastor has been arrested, leaving his community in absolute shock. It seems like this is happening more and more, and well, it is, because we are seeing the full-blown judgment of the Lord. And the reason for this is because the Word of God is very specific about this, that judgment would start first in the house of God. You know, there are a lot of people that are wanting to know, when is the world going to be judged, right? When are all these wicked rulers and everybody, you know, when is justice going to come in, in that realm? It will. But before that, the church is getting cleaned out. Now, I've talked about this, you know, God coming in really with this, with his golden broom, right? And he just it's shuffling all these people out that don't belong there, these wolves in the pulpit. And it's going to continue. Because the church is in bad shape right now. And the Lord is trying to clean it up because the sheep are being separated from the goats. We are in the final days. We're going to get into all the details about what happened here in just a second. Welcome everybody to Not By Sight News. Yes, blind Christian guy here reporting to you, reminding you as always that we walk by faith, not by sight. For someone like me, that's kind of my only option. Speaking of that, for those interested, you want to know my story. How did I go blind? How in the world do I operate my entire ministry without being able to see? People ask me questions, so I made a video explaining it all. You can find a link to that in the description section of all my videos. Also, if God puts it on your heart to do so, consider making a generous donation to support my ministry. A few different ways you could do that. One, hit the super thanks button on the YT video here. Make a contribution that way. Or how about a monthly contribution? Join my Patreon for as little as five bucks a month. Patreon.com slash news. Link in the description. When you join the Patreon, you get all the videos before they hit the main YT platform. Also with that, you get some exclusive links to these topics that we discuss. Some that I include on Patreon just because, you know, we got to be kind of careful with YT, what we include here. But while you're there, you can comment censorship-free on all videos and even send me DMs. So check it out. It's patreon.com slash news. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. Well, we're talking about Trinity Episcopal Church located in Fort Worth, Texas. It was on April 11th that their associate pastor, associate priest, whatever you want to call him, refer to him as Jason Myers was arrested. Now, this was this was part of a an, a little operation that they called Operation Home Alone. 2024. And Myers was not the only one who was arrested here. In addition to his arrest were 15 others. The charges, online misconduct with the little ones. And I think you know what I mean when I say that. Again, Myers was arrested as part of this, uh, this effort. And good on, let me say this, for all of law enforcement who are a part of these operations, good on you. Because you are helping to create, you know, a safer area for all of these little ones to be in. And oftentimes, yeah, pastors are caught up in this. This is not the first one that I've reported on that's been arrested in an operation like this. And I hope that more are to come. Because these people are wolves. They're operating, you know, pulpits across the country. And yeah, they're around little ones. Now, the day after is when the church was notified about Meyer's arrest. Uh, the bishop of the church making the announcement uh, that effective immediately. Myers has been suspended uh, in all forms of ministry. Not only that, but he is not allowed anywhere on the church campus. He is not allowed to have contact with anybody at Trinity Episcopal Church. And good, he shouldn't in any way. Now, the one thing that the church said here was that they don't believe. Now, they didn't confirm this, but they said that they don't believe that anybody that is a part of the preschool was affected here by Meyer's activity, his inappropriate behavior, but they can't confirm it. So this investigation is not over yet. And look, it's always a scary situation when you see a pastor getting arrested for something like this and the church also has a school with it. Because oftentimes that does become an area of interest that you have to look into. And I think for any parent, if they have one of their little ones here as a part of the school, they should be very concerned. Now let's hope and pray. Let's hope and pray that none were harmed here uh, because it would be absolutely just horrifying if that turned out here to be the case. 
And this is a problem that continues to play. And now I talk about this almost daily, right? These pastors that continue to get caught up in this stuff, you know, I, I think often, you know, what can we do? You know, there, there's, there's some churches that they don't even do background checks. They just let these people come up in here and pose as pastors. And you have all this, this fallout. And here's my suggestion. I'll say this. Because I say this all the time, no matter what it is, you know, it can be a situation like this with misconduct, inappropriate behavior, or it can be, you know, a pastor out of line for, you know, just false doctrine, bullying, you know, whatever it may be. My feeling, it's just my opinion, the best bet going forward is to get yourself involved in a home church group of some type. We got to go back to to what happened, you know, go, go to the book of Acts. And you look at how the churches were then. This more home-based, home group setup. Not that there can't be bad things that happen in a home church, but you know what? There's a lot less, I mean, I mean a lot less emphasis on celebrity pastors, entertainers that are, you know, posing as worship leaders. Get into a home group church like that where you can connect with people and it's really about just preaching the word of God. Right, no glitz, no glamour, no opportunity for this filth to creep in. And then you could even network with other home churches. But I really think that, you know, the modern day church is just being exposed for just being so full of sin and unrighteousness and God is done with it. It's time to go back to basics. But that's my opinion. I want to hear from you. You can let me know your thoughts on this in the comments section. Maybe you're somebody that, that attends Trinity Episcopal or you have in the past and you'd like to offer up your thoughts on this. You can do so. I will have more information. However, I am going to put it on my Patreon just because of the nature of what's being discussed here. So if you want to see more here about the charges against Myers, you can go to patreon.com slash news, and I will have a link for you up there. What I want to do right now, something I do on all these videos, let's end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach. This is an altar call. I've been doing this on my videos since 2016. No matter what it is that I'm discussing here in the church and exposing the false prophets, we always want to give people the opportunity to receive Jesus as Lord and Savior. So for anybody watching now, if you're somebody that has not yet accepted Christ into your life, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer that you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. As he died and rose again for you and me, he paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. That means to turn from sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back to your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away. And the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you, there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, more info down below. Don't forget the links to donate to the ministry are there as well. Join the Patreon for as little as five bucks a month, patreon.com slash news, or hit the super thanks button on the YT video here to make a contribution that way. It's all a great blessing. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.